Um, okay. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Marek Kowalski. I'm a PhD candidate at the Warsaw University of Technology in Poland. And I'm here to today to present Holoface, an open source framework for facial augmented reality on the Microsoft HoloLens headset. Um, so Holoface allows the user of the headset to see augmented content displayed on the faces of people seen through the headset. So while similar capability is offered by phone-based applications such as Snapchat or Facebook Messenger, the big difference is that with Holoface, the headset's user gets to see the augmented content with their own eyes instead of on the screen of a smartphone. Um, so here uh, on the right, you can see an example of, uh, of a video recorded uh, with the camera directly in the HoloLens headset. And uh, the way this works is that uh, the HoloLens has a webcam integrated in it, a frontal facing webcam. And the application tracks the subject's face between the uh, frames grabbed by the webcam. And in each frame, the uh, 3D head pose of the face is, of the subject's face is estimated. And based on that head pose, the uh, graphical engine places the augmented content in the world coordinate uh, system. So now uh, let's take a look at the framework. So it all begins when the initial frame is grabbed. After that step, uh, the, first, the, the first real step is face detection. Here the uh, method attempts to find the largest face visible uh, in the frame. Uh, if that is successful, if a face is found, the next step is face alignment. In this step, the method uh, attempt, the framework attempts to uh, localize a predefined set of facial landmarks uh, within the image uh, of the face. Uh, so this is done using one of two available methods. One is a simpler method, which runs uh, entirely on the device. A whole lens is a mobile device, a battery device, so you know, low power. And second is a state-of-the-art deep learning based method that runs on a, a remote desktop computer to which uh, the uh, headset connects through Wi-Fi. Uh, the user can choose whichever method uh, at any point uh, at runtime. Uh, both of the face time methods are equipped with an automated uh, facial, uh, automated failure detection method, which estimates where the landmarks were located uh, correctly or not. Um, so if that is successful, the next step is the 3D head pose estimation. Um, this is done using a, a very fast method, uh, which fits a projection of a, a deformable 3D face model to the previously uh, localized landmarks. Um, uh, since the model is deformable, the parameters of the model can be used to estimate facial attributes, such as whether the mouth is open uh, or whether the person is smiling. This, this can in turn be used to uh, trigger certain actions, such as the fire breathing you saw previously, the, uh, the fire would go out of the person's mouth when the mouth is open, and uh, those kind of effects. Uh, the last step is prediction denoi denoising. Prediction is necessary here, unlike phone-based applications, because uh, the content is not displayed on a screen, but seen by the user in, in real time, which means that any latency has to be compensated for. And the bigger source of latency is actually the webcam itself, since there is a significant time between uh, acquisition and actually when the image is returned to the API. The denoising step is necessary, since uh, face alignment uh, generates a certain jitter, there's a noise to it, and uh, noise, uh, well, translates to noise in head pose, and it has to be filtered out. So once that is done, the final uh, predicted and denoised head pose is passed to Unity Engine for rendering, and at the same time, another frame is grabbed and passed the face alignment method that attempts to track the uh, positions of the landmarks based on their location in the previous frame. So uh, the Holoface framework is uh, open source under the MIT license, a very permissive license. It's implemented in a Unity 3 engine, which allows for easy repurposing to other applications. This entertainment application is just an example. Can, there are many more applications that can be, uh, that can be done with, with the framework. And it's capable of running for, uh, on the real time, on the device in, in real time. Uh, here are the links to the GitHub repository uh, and, uh, um, and a YouTube video. Um, please come by my poster to see a, uh, a longer video and uh, some benchmarks and, and results to be obtained. Thank you very much.